With what took place last night, I mean, today, you guys bounced back. You know, it kind of started with Lomo, ended with Lomo, and then a lot of good Chris Archer in, in the middle. It was uh, the last two starts we've got from Blake Snell and Chris Archer have been tremendous for this club, and uh, we're going to need those types of starts, a lot of them, bunched together for us to get going. But it's also really good to see Lomo uh, get going. You know, he got to the 30 homer mark and then got 31, so maybe he's going to start adding on here quickly. But... Uh, tough, tough ball game. I mean, their guy, we knew coming in, he's a very good pitcher, and he does a really good job of not, you know, limiting opportunities. He just pounds the strike zone and keeps the ball on the ground. Took a little bit for our guys to adjust, but by that time, it was already in the fifth or sixth inning, and uh, obviously, we only had one run on the board, but uh, we'll take it. It was a good win. You bring up 31 home runs for Logan Morrison. What can you say that he's done this season for your team's offense? Uh, quite a bit. I mean, I, you know, I, I think you know, for three years, you know, this being my third year, we've always talked about a guy kind of situate behind Longo and provide that product protection, and I, and I think he's done that. I know he's done that. I mean, it's, uh, you know, you gotta, you got to really worry about not only Evan, uh, but the guy hitting behind him. Uh, and that's not sliding anybody else that's hit fourth, but uh, he's been really consistent. He had one little quiet spell this, this uh, past couple weeks, but other than that, um, he's driven, in a, driven the ball really well for us. Going down the stretch here in tonight's game or today's game, whether it was Brad Miller, Logan Morrison, but the timely hitting, how key will that be for your team? It'll be very key. I mean, you know, today we, we, we did what we were kind of how we're built. We pitched well and we knocked the ball out of the ballpark. Saying that, let's get some more guys on base so we can, those, those solo homers go to twos and threes because uh, it's challenging. Anytime, I mean, these lineups are good. We're going to play a lot of good teams down the stretch, and we got to do everything we can to separate games. And the way we're going to do that is by getting getting guys on base. Yeah, the game sometimes ebbs and flows emotionally. I mean, you guys have the lead. Kenny gives up the homer. It was kind of a similar pattern to last night. Yeah. Did that show you something the way you guys? Yeah, you know what? It showed, it showed a lot, and you know, it's it's nice when you know we go out and take the ball from from DJ and Evan sitting right there saying how well, we got this. We're going to win this game. I and mean, the guys, um, look, we have definitely trained ourselves to handle some tough losses, uh, and last night was as tough as any of them. But. Um, there was, there wasn't, a, you know, there wasn't a doubt. There's, there's always, always can be some frustration, like we talk about. But um, I think the guys believe in, in this team, and, and we'll find ways to win those tight games. Have you noticed Archer doing anything differently? And maybe over the past few games, seeing step anything up? No, not, not really anything differently over the past few. I will say today, I looked at Hick uh, at about the fifth or sixth. He looked very calm, very under control throughout the entire game. Um, you know, it, it just. It, Arch, when he when he when he gets going, he gets in that rhythm. He, he's got a lot of confidence, and, and he's able to slow things down. I thought that's what he did really well today. Lomo went through that kind of quiet stretch. I know last year you talked about how he didn't let that get him down. Did you no. kind of see signs of that again this year? Uh, <laughs> sometimes, but uh, you know, I think when when he when he got a little bit off at the plate, his timing. He was probably, um, you know, trying to cover two pitches at one time, and that, that's pretty difficult to do. So he got got himself caught in between. Uh, but I think Lomo's success also, you know, energized him to keep keep that consistency. And when it wasn't there, um, it was a struggle for him. But it's nice to see him get back in it and, and, and feel good over the last couple games, couple and week or so. And the rest of the bullpen did a pretty good job picking up after Jennings. Yeah, I mean, T-Shack, Romo, um, those two additions have been huge for us. And, you know, the confidence that we have in them, the confidence that their teammates have in them when they're on the mound, they're going to give you strikes, uh, competitive pitches. They're going to make guys put the ball in play. When they need those big strikeouts, they have the ability to, to reach back and get it. You got a pretty good ending up with the series win, even though the way it didn't necessarily go the way you Yeah, yeah. Time. I mean, look, I mean, Anytime you get a series win on the road, it's saying something. This game is uh, these are challenging teams that we're playing, and this is this is a a very AL East environment here. Uh, great fans, awesome ballpark. But, you know, they support the club. We came in and found a way to win two games.